Hello. Today we are going to cover overhead line insulators. Overhead line conductors are bare and not covered with any insulating coating or covering. The insulators are the means of insulating medium which keep the line conductor away from supporting structure. It also provides necessary clearance between conductors and metal works. And hence, proper selection of overhead line insulators is essential so that successful operation of overhead lines. There are several types of insulators such as pin in type insulators, post insulators, suspension type insulators, strain insulators, shackle insulators, etc. Let us cover one by one. Pin type insulators. It provides most economic, simple and efficient method for voltage less than 33 kV. It can fit on cross arms with the help of pins and conductor is placed in the groove at the top of insulator and it is tied with the help of copper or aluminium wires. Pin should be able to withstand the mechanical stress, wind and ice loading. So this is the groove on which the pin is inserted and it is that pin is tied with the help of copper or aluminium wire. It has several advantages as it is cheaper. In many cases one pin insulator can do the work of two suspension insulators. Since pin insulator rises the conductor above the cross arm, so required height of tower is also less. Some disadvantages as operating voltage greater than 33 kV, it is uneconomical and size is also bulky. And once spin insulator is failed, short circuit can occur. The next is post insulator. These are used for supporting bus bars and disconnecting switches in substations. It is similar to pin, insul pin type insulators, but it has metal base and metal cap. This is the metal base and this is metal cap. In this insulators, the porcelain elements are in the form of cones. So these are different cones fitting one inside the other and are bonded by special cement. These are also used for voltages up to 33 kV. Next is suspension type insulators. It consists of number of porcelain discs flexibly connected in series by metal links in the form of string. It hangs from cross arm and conductor is attached to lower end. So this is the cross arm and conductor is attached at the lower end. So this is overall the suspension insulator. As there is no pin, we can put any disc between the cross arms and the conductors by adding a disc. Number of insulators in string depends on operating voltage, weather condition, type of transmission structure and the size of insulator used. Normally each disc is of this insulator is designed for 11 kV. It has several advantages as it is cheaper for operating voltage grid above 33 kV. If one disc is damaged, whole string will need not to be replaced, less mechanical stress, operating voltage can be increased according to demand by adding disc of insulator to the string. Some disadvantages like spacing between conductors should be large to allow swing of conductors and height of line support should be large as conductor is hanged below the cross arms. Then strain insulators, when suspension insulators are mounted horizontally, they will sustain more tension. Such insulators can be known as strain insulators. Like at the dead end or at the corners, lines are subjected to great tension. So to withstand this tension, strain insulators are used. For voltage less than 11 kV, shackle insulators are used as strain insulators. And for voltage greater than 11 kV, suspension insulators can be used as a strain insulators. The disc of strain are used in vertical plane when the tension is higher as at reverse pans, two or more strings are used in parallel. 
and the next is shackle insulators it is used for low voltage distribution such insulators can be used either in vertical position or in horizontal position they are directly fixed to the pole with the help of nut and bolts the conductor in groove is fixed with soft binding wires so this is the shackle insulator and this is the pole on which with the help of nut and bolts we can fix that shackle insulator so these are this is the introduction about several types of insulators thank you